First, let's do a sound check. It's Freaky Friday. Can everybody hear me okay? I hope. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, it'd be good. Either one. Can everyone hear me? Be beautiful. Fantastic. Thank you. Anyway, let me do some shout outs to uh, everyone. Here we go. David Switzer's in the house. Hello, David. Uh, Marcian is always here too. Thank you very, very much. David, the truck driving fisherman, Angelic is here. I'm glad you're here, Dave. Roy Davies is here. Casey Zevenbergen. Armand ha ha Hodge, I believe. Cynthia Downtown Brown is here from the City of Brotherly Love. Cynthia Jackson. Cynthia Deering. Wow, is every Cynthia in the world here? Robert Tantulo. Kathy Sampson is here. Hello, Freaky Friday. Raphael, my man from Bahamas, is in the house. Karina Lance is here. And Karina, I said your name. Karina be on me like white on rice if I don't say her name, man. She don't mess up. I'm saying it. I'm going to say it again. Karina Lance. And don't you come back after me. Don't you come after me. Pat Parent, how you doing? Pat's coming, Pat's coming out and talking a lot. I love it. Robert Gunter, are you guys both here? Yeah. Okay. My wife is here, Dawn. She's in the attendee. She needs to leave a comment on there, and so does my granddaughter's here. Did you leave a comment too? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting down to it. Lori Lunn, Dustin Grove, Cashel Pagu. Roy Davies, Shirley York is here. Shirley York been around for a long time. Uh, Robert Gorman, my man. Married to who, you know who? The Sarge, Lynn Nakamoto. <laughs> Lynn's a maniac. Uh, Nikki Perkins. By the way, if I call you maniac or crazy, that is a awesome, awesome respect, okay? So... I'm not good at words, so I know I've called ass crazy because he is uh, in a good way. You know what I mean? Narelle Warcon, great lady. She uh, has done a lot for the company. Fitmata's here. Boom. She's been around for a long time. Hello, Fitmata. Ronan Cohen is here. Yin Yang, 44 fours in the house. Holly Bud Phillips is here. We have, let me keep going. Barbara Garrison, welcome from Texas. Nice. Ernest Martinez, Michael Claus. Tell your brother I said, what's up? Make sure I'm on the nice list. I know that's not funny, Michael, saying your brother's Santa Claus. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. But, hey, Red did a great live. Hello, Red. Tell um, the first lady I said hello. Aaron Frost. George Holdsworth. Polly Cherry's here. Hello, Polly. James Yates, my man, is in the house. Uh, Susan Hodges. Mamadou, Mamadou, hey, yesterday he was on a webinar and he wasn't working. First time I've seen him where he's not working. Larry Friend's in the house. Hello, Larry. I haven't seen you for a while from Missouri. Myra Aquino is here. She does a lot of the graphics. Uh, Dennis Energy, Preston Biggs. We have... Chris Johnson, hey, 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 hey. Happy birthday, Dawn DeGarva. He spilled the beans. Today is my wife's birthday. Yes. Yes. Foot operation. She's already up walking around. 
Yeah, amazing. Beautiful and strong. She's so strong, a baby came outside. Wait, no, I'm just kidding. I was looking, thinking of the movie. But she's here. So if you guys would, wish her a happy birthday. Because she sacrificed a lot for all passive. She doesn't know it. But I'm in our living room, okay? Imagine that. She's got earphones and, yeah, I'm a pain in the butt. You guys know that already. Um, David Otto, how you doing, David? We have Lister's in the house. Lister, I bet your sister's here. I bet she's here. Ruth Pace, Lister, thanks for everything you do. Theo's in the house. Uh oh, we're getting happy birthday, Dawn's. Uh, give a shout out to Dawn. She's here. You're not going to see her on camera because she don't do that. She ain't crazy. Tennis Elridge, how you doing? Do for all of us. I trust us refer completely. Yep, good. We should. If you don't trust us by now, then you're in the wrong business. David Rolowski, how you doing? I'm trying to go down the list. I'm looking for new people. Okay. Koshel Pegu. I was a little bit late. I was in the a Bangladesh webinar. I was asked to come on for a short while, so I was on it for a short while. Uh, David Mantiel's here. Robert Tantulo, our neighbor, he lives down at down the shore. Casey Zebenbergen, what's happening, buddy? Glad you can make it. Greg Duda. Aaron Frost is here. Wow, nice. Jerry Nix, my man. Jerry's in the house. Harvey DJ Green is in the house. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Uh, oh. Armand, wow, thank you. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it. That was so nice of you. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give it to Dawn for her birthday. Barbara Garrison, Miriam, Nigel Peter. Hello, Nigel. Great job. Joseph Lance is here. Tim Le Leprechaun Dylan, a.k.a. Captain Kirk. Beam me up, Scotty. After hours with the one and only, I don't even need to say her name. You know who she is. Willow is in the house. Carl Chapman, Anthony Flores, my buddy, Anthony, great guy. Oh, wow. I'm passive. Antonio, thank you. you I uh, really appreciate it. Dawn's getting a Christmas birthday present early, or more than she's already got. Uh, here we go. Uh, Patrick McGuigan. Patrick, what's happening, buddy? Mark Swartz. Uh, Manjo J. Jacobs. Preston Big. Lily Lane, the one and only Lily Lane. Uh, Chris is saying no sound. I hope it's just him. Huh? I have your sound. Do you have your sound turned up? Can everybody hear me? Because now I'm getting nervous. Dustin Grove. Whoa, thank you. Dustin Grove. I don't know what these things are called. I don't know which one's which. Believe that. But thank you either way. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear the sound is good. Thank you very much. Okay, one more thing, like I want to say, my wife Dawn DeGarmo is here, married 42 years, been married to her since she was 16. She's my best friend and the best wife I could have ever had. And she's watching, 
she's not quite as brave as uh <laughs> as Jane, but she will. And also I want to tell you, my granddaughter's here, Alexis. Yep, you wanna come over here and say hi? She told me she wasn't going to, but she will for her grandmom. Tell tell Mimi happy birthday. She calls her grandma Mimi. Happy birthday. Say hi everybody. Say my pop-up's the best pop-up in the world. Oh, man, I got everything but that. Sam Pat is here. Thank you. Bridget, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Gemma, there you are. I want to make sure I see you before I move on. Anyway, like Red started... We want to start getting people into ONET, right? And the only way to do that is start getting people into ONET. Now, of course, hold on one second. I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can today, but you know what? I can't promise you. You might be stuck with me a little longer. It's only because I want to get some stuff done. Um, okay. We want to get people into own network. Okay. So every day I'm going to post the link for my live in own network. Now, how do you find me? Marty DeGarmo. Boom. Search me and everything that I want to say, I'll put in there. Okay. I'm I'm hoping, and, and I don't know this, but I'm going to ask Mr. Mufara, maybe not here, maybe not in O Founders, but in O Passive, I would like to have where well, we could have a group. And I'm not doing this to, uh, to segregate from, from other people. I like to have groups because as I'm bringing new people and I want to, I like to, how do you say it? I want to build a relationship because I think the relationships of passive are probably one of the strongest points of the company, if not the strongest. Now, obviously the platform that Mr. Mufara has created for us is the most powerful of all because we wouldn't be here. And he actually said to me three and a half years ago, you draw who you're like. So I must be a pretty nice guy because man, I drew a lot of people here that are unbelievable. That's for sure. What the heck? Bill Must is in the house. Bill, thank you, man. Dawn's getting a little bit of cash for her birthday. You see it up top? You see it up top, Tom? She will not talk. She's scared, man. One day we're going to get Bill Must, Don DeGarmo, and other people that we never see. Anyway, I'm just kidding. So anyway, I'm going to I'm going to post every day in O Network. And I want you guys to go there, look me up, and make a comment. Say something. Let's talk. We can chat in there. That's why it was built. It's only going to get better. Uh, Red jumped on it first, which I'm super happy because I was trying to think of the best way to do it. But his idea is pretty darn good. Just get people to go there. I'm going to um, – because when this thing opens up to the world, you know, I'm going to set up a – Marty type funnel and funnel people from um, from um, from YouTube in, right into the company through uh, O Network or O Net. Okay, so that's a big deal. Anyway, uh, please go visit me there. I really appreciate it. And, and this is what the company wants. I want to do what As says. The least we can do is do what he what he suggests us to do. That's the least we could do. That, have loyalty, have trust. 
trust's a big deal. We know that. Big John White he, keeping it high and tight, my man. M. Callie's here. Carl Chapman, 267 people are here. Bill, the must. Berg is in the house. Why? Because he's the man of all men. You heard what I said about him and and uh, Big John? He built a presence. Bill must build a presence without anyone seeing him. So when people say, I, I can't do videos, I can't. He does videos, he's not on them. He's, he's branded everybody. Everybody knows who he is. So it's possible. Whatever you're comfortable with. As said yesterday, and he's been saying it, and I say it all the time, you are the best you can be, and you are valuable, and you are needed. Why? It's a big company. It's huge. Anyway, let me go to the updates real quick. Uh Ash said something really said many things really important. And if people would take the time to listen, he said, on passive is different. It's not just built like a company. It's not like a company. There's no freaking way is it like a company. But yet there's aspects of a company because you have to have that. You have to have certain functions in the in this business that are company, right? They run like a company, but the whole outside, the whole core of Unpassive is a different animal. It absolutely is a different animal. It's about people. It's about people. And that means the most. You look at this digital change in the world. And you know what they're saying. Go look it up. Don't ask me. Don't rely on everything what I'm saying. I try to tell the truth. What they say? What did they say they start? They need to start focusing on talent. That's people. Heart people. And value. Uh, yeah. What is Ask Me For doing? Right? What is he doing? Every one of those. From the very, the very first brick laid. That's what Ash did, and working with heart. Couldn't be in a better place. I feel it. The reason I'm in love with Unpassive is if, if I had the money and I, no, if I, if I just had a magic wand and I could build a business that would be perfect to me, it would be Unpassive. No joke. That's why I, I'm in love with it. We have a very short time to do good acts. That's what that said. As, uh, unpassive is not typical. No joke. It's not typical. It's just, it's disruptive historical event that is about to help the world. If you can make an impact in the world, my gosh, what more could you say? He brought up an important point how reporters would go up to a world-class athlete and ask him if they're nervous. And you know what they do? And this is so smart. And, and and leaders can do this. They can transfer the nervousness into excitement. They're trained to do it. They're trained how to answer reporters. It makes such a big difference. It's the same attitude we have to have. I'm going to give you an example. People, members, Founders, different levels of founders, because there are different levels of founders, not because you're religion, not because you're male or female, but how much faith you have in the company and how much belief. That's the only difference. It's not your color. It's not your language. And what we need to do is take the attitude and train yourself not to be nervous. Because every time you get that so-called nervous feeling, it's really changed for the better. If you can tell yourself that, 
like let's say somebody comes in and, and they go to a meeting and they expect. That's why I try not to say too much. And sometimes I built meetings up to look towards something, insinuate something. It's not it's not good because I don't personally don't go to a meeting ex expecting a, a an item or expecting I mean my mind's racing around but I train myself I train myself to be in the now listen to what Mr. Bupar is saying now how do you do that it's called trust in Mr. Mupar and have faith in the company because if you have the trust you'll focus yourself to listen to what's going on now there's one thing we don't have and I realize this is what throws people off a little bit the view that I have, I'm not talking about with my eyes, the view I have here might be better than the view you have here. And the advantage that Mr. Mufara has, he has the view here and here. But you know what he said very important yesterday? And I know this from, <clears throat> I know <clears throat> this from experience when, when, I traveled the world and talked to people and would go in, you know, working for other companies and there was a detour. And it wasn't a nice detour, but I know the outcome of the detour puts us right back where we'll be ahead of where we were. It just wasn't, it wasn't pleasant. Does everyone need to know that? No, and, and, and you can't, why? Because some people don't have the vision here. That's why you can't, and it's not necessary. If, if Ash is fighting lions and tigers and bear, oh my, he doesn't need to mention it to us, but he is. So we have to have faith in the journey he's taking and telling us, yelling back to us, everything will be okay. And you know what? I believe him as any man I've ever met in my life. And any woman, including my mother. And I trusted my mother more than anybody ever. Ash is at that level. Does he tell me everyday stuff? Nope. In fact, I have said to the man, and I mean this, he can back it up. I don't need to know. I don't. I don't want a judgment of anything. I, I, I have some things in common with him, like, and, and a lot of you are this way. When I go to talk to somebody, if I'm doing a three-way call with somebody, and they start telling me about this person. Before I talk to them, okay, Marty, this guy is blank, blank, blank. This woman, she did this. And no, no, no. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Not that I don't care about the person. But when I'm going to talk to them about I'm passive, I want them to hear what I have to say uncensored. I'm not sugarcoating it because he's a millionaire or a billionaire. And I'm not overplaying it because it's this person or that person. Or I'm not acting because it's a woman. I like to know if it's a woman or a man. But other than that, I don't need to know about them. If things work out and they come into the company on that person's team and I get to meet them, then I, I the details would be nice. I, that's how you build relationship. But when Ash is walking to Calmanor, and knives and stuff are being thrown at him. And we see him come on screen with a smile on his face. He's crazy. Crazy good. Not only crazy and 
daring and relentless and fearless. He's crazy being able to shield it from us. He shields some of the stuff from us. Get that in your head. Get that in your head. But it doesn't matter. Ask gave himself no way out. Do or die. You think of everything you ever said. New Year's resolution. You ever said do or die? No. We always give ourselves a way out. That's why by February, we're no longer on that diet. We're no longer walking five miles a day. Whatever it is, we give ourselves a way out. I'm trying to train myself to get better and better of no way out. That's all. I'm, I know I'm getting off course, but that's what I do, right? <laughs> I always get off course. Um, I hope I'm not going too crazy for you guys. But anyway, so I remember that movie where I want the truth and he's all good men or whatever it is, a few good men. I said, you can't handle the truth. But, you know, can we all handle everyday things? Or is it necessary? There's times I come on here and I'm not that, it's not a good day. But it's temporary. You know, there's days I don't have a good day. My grandchildren live with me. And as you can see, I'm not an athletic, you know, I'm not. I'm not super healthy, okay? I'm working on it. So not every day is a good day. But I'm alive, and as long as my body's not outlined in chalk, it's a good start. And my bad day is temporary. That's here. These used to be the biggest muscle I had. Now it's this and my heart. And it just makes thing, it makes you go through life a little easier. Anyway. Whew. Yep. I lose I lose my mind sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna be using, let me say it again. <coughs> uh, o network. Every day. So please join me. And let's do the one thing, one of the things Ash asked us to do. Let's get involved and use the back office for what it was meant to be used for. We can't stop people from saying, hi, I love you, picture myself with sunglasses. I don't know what that is. But we can crowd it out. We can push it out by going in, giving good content, and chatting with each other. Anyway. Uh, I said this on Passwords probably, probably, more than probably, is the best thing you will ever witness in your lifetime. And the risk for us, right, for founders, what's the risk? Nothing. $97? And even that's not a risk. Why? Mr. Mufara, this is my email. I want a refund. What risk do we have? Yeah, there was time spent. But you want to know the truth? Look at all the friends that we've made. I don't know. I don't know about you. But I have no loss in this at all. And I believe that it's bigger than anything I've ever seen. I believe I am part of something that I can't imagine. 100%. And that's pretty darn good. And he said something else. The company's working harder for you than you are yourself. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. I don't care who you are, and I'm passing. Me, Chris, Mike Williams, all everybody. Everybody, Red, 
Julie, Lynn, Bill Must, Big John White, none of us are working like the company is for us. We're going to be superstars when it's over. We're going to be master marketers. Crazy. All founders need to just be the way you are. I've said this for seven, I've said this for two, three years. I don't need or want to hear another Marty. Uh, Chris Johnson, Red Redfern. I want to hear who you are. And listen, you have a lane. And the only way to find your lane, and this is fact, the only way to find your personal lane is stop trying to get in somebody else's. Sorry, that's fact. While you're trying to, well, I want to be like him. I want to get in her lane. I want to, while you do that, it's impossible to find your lane. I said something very important. This is fact. Every, this word leader is kind of weird for me. I don't know why I have so much trouble with it. But every leader you see, or you think is a leader, if you think it, that makes them a leader. Every leader, as said, they did not come up and knock on his door. I know as God is my witness, I did not. I wanted to meet him. But I did not do this to be a leader. I was a leader with Mike and Dan, and they are leaders. Whatever we did. And before we start bringing people in, I wanted to know who this man was. This man and this company is what I've been praying for for 18 years. All right? But I'm me. I did not ask to be LC. You know, I don't lie. Never. Never, never. Neither did Mike. Neither did Dan. And yet people go, I want to be like him. If you want to be where I'm at, wherever that is, wherever Red's at, find your lane. Because if you chase him in his lane or her lane, that means you are them and you're not. And you want to be a big leader in anything you're doing. And this is fact. This is experience, my life experience. Focus on others. You want to be a light? You want to be a light shined on you? Shine it on as many people as you can. And I've said this before, because the reflection is even brighter than the light you pushed. That's why people say when you give, it feels so much better than receiving, because it's fact. It's the DNA of mankind. Why? Because that's what the powers to be said it is. It is. We don't have to like it. So, anyway. Here I am preaching on a Friday night, Friday afternoon. You are unique like DNA, no doubt about it. Why? What can founders do to be helpful? Don't get distracted. Oh, my God. Listen, if you do one small thing, I said it. Can you do a like? Can you say thank you? Can you, if somebody did something that inspired you, you know, tell them, hey, great, that really helped me. It means a lot. It means a lot to the person that helped you. Maybe they didn't know they did. And it means a lot to you when you say it. And it means something for the company. And it means something for your company. And you say, how can that little thing make a big difference? I said it, a drip of water. Water carved out the Grand Canyon. Now, of course, when we see it, we see it going over the rocks, not through it. 
But if you had a time elapsed camera, you would see it cut to it like a knife, a hot knife through butter. Consistently, boom, boom, boom. And you want to be a leader? Help as many people as you can daily. Encouragement. Motivating. Oh, motivating is not real. Bite me. Yes, it is. You motivate people and make them feel good or help them feel good, or let them know that this bad day they might be having is temporary. Each small act will, will create an impact change to out on passive environment. That's what he said. You know how big that is? If we all do a little bit and you add it up, it's a tsunami. All right, there's no way am I going to get done if I don't shut up. Uh, five minutes per day, five minutes a day for 100 days. You see the difference. Big deal. If you have if you have a goal and it's not clear, for one thing, it's not a goal. It'll never be clear. You'll never reach it. You never reach it. Well, I set up goals with Mike and Dan. It doesn't matter what they were, and we reached them all. Because as soon as we reached the goal that we had in mind, we set up a, a new one. We didn't settle. Okay, we're there. What now? Let's see if we can get here or there by this time or by it's it's for one thing it's fun. And the other thing, it keeps your mind occupied on what matters. What matters? The full impact of one passive to the world. Ongoing. And how do you do that? One step at a time. And if we're all stepping in the same direction, that's powerful. With a clear goal, let the community help your goal manifest. Like a drop of water. Oh, oh. Consistency. That drop of water will eat through anything in the world. Anyway, what did, what did, the, what did the company set up for goal? I want a website every week, one a week. We did it. I want two a week. We did it. And there's people going, well, why? Why? Because that's his mind is not thinking about today. Today's already here. He's thinking about days and years ahead. Why, why expand the data center? And four or five products, a few hundred people. We got a million. We got a million founders, but still, I mean, why keep expanding some? Because he knows where we're going. Do you know why he knows where we're going? Because he built a road to get there. We're getting there. You know why he doesn't talk about money? Because if you give people value and heart and unlimit, um, unlimitless products and potential. What's it equal? It equals money. <laughs> Think about it. In fact, in my opinion, it equals more money than, tr and then the, than the traditional Let's set up a system. Do you know how many businesses I was in? Online, offline? Hundreds. And they were all the same. Now I'm in something that looks at things different, walks different, acts different. <coughs> and we're going to be different. We're going to be different.
And very soon we'll have two websites a week, then three, and then one a day. Why? Because months and months and months ago, As said we will. Do or die. Did not leave an exit door. He doesn't have an exit door. The only door is the one ahead. He can't get out. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. My wife's looking at me. <clears throat> he also did it to train the techs. Because no matter how smart you are, and he's got the best in the world. You got to train that sometimes you do stuff now because of where you're going. And if you have a clear outlook of where you're going, you can change the world. Especially if you don't give your way a, a self a way out. Mr. Mupar came on and said it in front of hundreds of thousands, million people. Do or die. It's a done deal. We see him. He gave his way himself no way out. I'm with him. I want it. I'll wait as long as it takes. Yeah, but you're old, you're 62. Who gives a crap? I'm alive right now. And I'm thinking about tomorrow. And everything that goes on in my life, whether it's good or bad, I have a lot of good. And I, I say this to myself every time I get a woe is me or a Marty Pitty party. Billions have it worse than me. Billions have it worse than me every day. Wrap your head around that. We do not jump into plans without gradually to diligently build the future of success. Guys, this is a book. Ask was on yesterday, given a lecture on how new business will be run in the future. Take it for what it is. This is coming. This will be trained. Because the old method doesn't work. It got us where we were. The problem is everybody running those companies are not thinking about tomorrow, a year from now, 10 years from now. There's no competition because the competition is here. It's not just the products. It's here. It's what he did. It's what he built. It's what he believes. That's, we should feel the same. And if you're not sure what, what it is he sees and feels, grab the freak on until you do. Rub up against somebody that does. And eventually, through osmosis, you'll see it. You'll see it. I see it. I don't see it clearly. I'm not at that level. But I'm far enough up now and been in long enough and understand the concept That if somebody handed me five, 10, 20 million dollars, I would not leave on passive. I mean that. If I said it, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said it if I didn't mean it. For one thing, it's not just about the money. And people say, oh, how could it be? Think about this. This is no joke. Go look up multi-million dollar lottery winners. The high percentage of them are either broke, they got divorced, they're not happy. Because the fact is, if you're a nasty, negative person without money, it enhances your personality. So does alcohol. So you're only going to be a bigger, nasty, negative person. Work on this. And if you got this, which all of you do, we're going to kick some butt. 
enjoy the process and the journey. I am. Do I want things to happen? Yes. Yes. I've got stories for you in my new living room that I'll tell you. No joke. But there'll be a distant memory. Because why? It's temporary. Oh, my gosh. I don't even... I got so far off course. That's why people, what are you going to talk about? Uh, I have a plan, but I sometimes lose consciousness. Um, anyway, let me see how far I can go. I know Chris is madder than a, madder than a cat on a hot tin roof, right? I'm passing, we'll do the... We'll do it rightfully, long-term, and for the future legacy. It's all about value, guys. Why a new website? Value. Everything. Value and heart. You couldn't build it any better. And it's at the right time. Timing's a big deal. You know it. Go look it up. How, how important is timing in the business? Google it. I'm not even going to get into more stuff because I I think I covered what I wanted to say. Data center, hosting, domains, every imaginable digital tool in one place. One website a, one website a week, done, seamless, followed by two, three, four, seven. Oh, Founders Platform went from, I, I, we need to change it. A month later, here it is. If things need to be changed, ask would do it again. Next 90 days, we got a lot going on. Hide your body, be maxed out and all that. And listen to me. When I added something to what we know, it has nothing to what we were told before. It's added to. Don't subtract. Nobody told you to subtract squat. Don't do anything. This is how he operates. He juggles many, many balls at one time. More locations. Bigger company. Thousands of employees one day. Thousands. More efficient, all all focused on changing the world for the better. Anyway, I'm gonna let it go. And oh, Dawn wants me to tell everybody thank you for the birthday wishes. She couldn't comment. She's um, digitally digitally impaired. I'm just kidding. And my memorial service for that lady is going to... Oh, she's at a memorial service, too, online for a lady she knew. She watches... Um, I told you this, but she does crafts. You guys know that. She watches this crafts lady every week or every day. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Such a nice day. Even her husband came on. They both were killed in a car accident. So it's really sad. Victor Gumbalada, hey, buddy. Yeah, we had a big a big crowd. I thank you very much. People that gave me a super sticker or whatever they're called, uh, it really blows me away. Thank you. Uh, like, once again, Dawn said thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, I hope I served you well today. Anyway, I would go say visit Chris, but he's probably done. Uh, sorry. Uh, that's me. I'm not sorry. Sometimes I get off on these little crazy things, and that's me. That's me. Anyway, go to, please go to O Network. Say hi. Look up Marty DeGarmo, please. See you all. And listen, a little prayer for Mr. McFarland and his family. He needs it. Oh, Chris has not gone yet. So go see Chris, guys. 
trust me, he's going to be drinking water and laughing. That's the start of his thing. And some stupid thing I said or did. All right. Makes him happy. And Toinette Hayes, hello. Yep, Dawn really appreciates it. She sees it. She just can't, she can't comment. Engineer Mike, boom, baby. Okay, I want a boom from everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I might have to do my live at 10 a.m. Because at 11, uh, there's a webinar. There we go. Ah, music to my ears. But remember to keep asking his family in your prayers. One day you'll look back and see what he really has done for us, and we're going to be amazed. I'm already amazed. Big Bill. Oh, wow. We got bombs and booms and bangs. Anyway, I'll see you all. God bless.